Hello friends, welcome to CyberCAD Solutions. I am Prabhu. In this session, I would like to explain how to override dimension settings. What are the different settings in a dimension? It may be number of decimal places or it may be scale factor or if you want to show the dimension text below the dimension line or if you want to increase the text size, arrow size or if you want to change color of the dimension line or extension line. So these are all. Hope everybody know what are the different parts in a dimension. So here these vertical lines on both sides are called as extension line and the middle horizontal line is dimension line and if you carefully observe the gap between the origin and the end point of this rectangle that gap is called extension line offset and the extended extension line from the dimension arrow so that is called extension line extension so like that there are different variables if you want to change any of them or if you want to suppress extension lines or a dimension line so how to do all these using commands if you want to know different dimension variables then you just type set where at the command prompt and type question mark and press enter again press enter for the star mark so that you can see different AutoCAD system variables over here you just keep pressing enter until you go to alphabetical order dim so here started you can see this here so here alternate dimension of dimension number of decimal places is zero so like this dimension associate dimension dimension block if you keep pressing enter you can see different dimension variables over here so this is color to dimension color to extension line color to text like that there are so many variables if you want to see them just type set where at the command prompt type question mark and press enter for star so that you can see all the AutoCAD system variables keep pressing enter until you get dimension variables list okay here we are going to see few of important settings those are DEC means number of decimal places and if you want to change number of decimal places for only selected dimensions not all the dimensions okay now let us see how to change decimal places in the given dimension the command which we are going to use change the settings or override the dimension settings is dim override and its shortcut is dov type dov at the command prompt and press enter and it is asking which variable you want to override i am going to change decimal places so take dec type dec at the command prompt and press enter now it is asking what is the value you want to update in the dimension let us say i want to display three decimal places in the dimension now it is asking do you want to change any other variable no just i am pressing enter as of now now it is asking select which dimensions you want to override i am selecting only these two and pressing enter now if you see there is no change because in the dimension style settings there is a setting called suppress trailing zeros let me show you that one go to dimension style and take iso 90 iso 25 go to modify and in the primary units go to zero suppression here trailing zeros are suppressed by the style itself so we are not able to see the number of decimal places so if you want to control that one also we can do that one using dim zin variable zin as of now let's stop here and say ok and say close now you can see all the three decimal places because we have changed it to two if you want to check one more time go to dov type dec at the command prompt and make it two and press enter now select the dimensions to be overridden now you can see 25.00 15.00 is updated similarly the comma i don't want as a decimal locator so i want to change it to full stop so for that also another variable is there type dov at the command prompt and type d decimal places dsep is the variable and i am typing full stop over here and uh, it is asking do you want to change any other variables uh, no i'm just pressing enter now selecting all the variables now you can see comma has been replaced with full stop now l fact means linear factor 
let us say if you want to show the dimension value as double so you can show that one so using this linear factor so to do that one type dov at the command prompt and take l factor linear factor and i am making it two times and pressing enter now select the dimensions and press enter you can see the value original value has been displayed as twice it has been doubled so means like sometimes we will be we will be scaling up the drawing so in such cases we will be using this linear factor similarly if you want to show dimension units beside the value you can do that one using post so dov dimension override post and i want to show small letters cm means centimeters and press enter again enter to finish the command and select the dimensions now you can see centimeter has been displayed in dimension value similarly i want to show the dimension in the mid of dimension line not above the dimension line or below the dimension at the center of the dimension line but here because of these units uh, sometimes the placement is not uh, if the placement is not sufficient a later will be added so i just want to remove the dimension units so let's change that one so take dov and change post to blank and update the dimensions now the place will be sufficient and also change the decimal places also change dec to zero and uh, update this now let us try to change the dimension text location to center so dov tad means text above dimension line it has three values zero is center one is above the dimension line two is below the dimensions dimension line so i am changing it to zero and uh, pressing enter and select the dimensions you can see it, the text has been placed at the center of the dimension similarly we can change text inside horizontal line means here if you see 30 is rotated to the angle of dimension line so if you want to display that 30 horizontally you can do that one using text inside horizontal so type dov at the command prompt and type tih and say on and press enter now select the dimensions you can see 30 has been made horizontal similarly overall change means arrow size text size and um, dimension lines extension line extensions overall change can be brought using scale command we can also do that one using dimension override so take dov take scale command and make it 0.5 i want to reduce the size okay and press enter means making half of the original size see overall dimension size has been reduced by 50% and uh, if you want to change only arrow size that also we can do using asz variable change dov asz current value is two and a half and if you change it to say three times and press enter and select the dimensions you can see arrow size has been increased you can observe only selected dimensions are being changed not all the dimensions that is the specialty of dim override it will override the given variable setting to only selected dimensions similarly we can also change color to the extension lines so dov clre and i am giving red color to extension lines and uh, dov clrd that is dimension line color to dimension line i am giving it two number and let us change it you can see yellow color is assigned to dimension lines we can also change to color of the text dimension text so dov clrt and its color i would like to make it three and select the dimension lines you can see the green color text has been updated similarly we can also change extension line extension means the extension line beyond this arrowhead it has been increased little much so that is called extension line extension you can change that value using this extension line extension variable similarly the gap between the origin and the, the extension line start this is called as extension line offset that can also be updated using dimension override and this is suppress dimension line one suppress dimension line two suppress extension line one suppress extension line two i would like to show these uh, suppress um, 
variable update so let us go to dov take se1 suppress extension line 1 that is on and se2 that is also on and select these two dimensions now you can see the extension lines are suppressed so similarly you can also suppress dimension lines so this is a useful command uh, sometimes when we would like to override few certain variables in dimensions so the command shortcut is dov dimension override take this command provide the variable name and provide the value you want to update in the dimensions and then press enter select the dimensions and you can see the change immediately if you want to restore all the overrides or if you want to clear all the overrides and get back to the original dimension style you can do that one using an option over here clear overrides click this option select the dimensions and press enter now you can see the original dimension as per the dimension style is this means like all the overrides which we have done till now are cleared automatically using this option dov and clear overrides this option will clear all the overrides from the dimensions friends hope you understood how to use this dimension override or clear overrides if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and share this video to your friends thanks for watching and welcome to the next session